It has been so freaking long since I've done a drugstore haul video. Praise everything, I'm doing a drugstore haul video today. And I'm super, super pumped about it because I just wanted to play with these things and it's just been so long and I'm so excited to get to play with these things. So, and I finally get to go through my collection. I'm gonna do another declutter series and I'm so excited about my declutter series. Um, who me? Oh, Tabitha Thrifts made me want to do another declutter series. So, heck yeah, I'm gonna be doing another one. I just gotta get everything cleaned up. So, I went to Target, spent some money, and used my gift cards that I had from there, and I was, like, excited. So, the first thing I needed was a straightener, and the only reason why it's still in the box is because I paid, like, 50 bucks for the straightener, and, um... My boyfriend can get it at Best Buy with his discount a lot cheaper. So I think it's like $29 with his discount. So I may or may not end up returning this if they you know, have it in stores or whatever. Um, I've had mine for, I want to say three to four years now. And normally my straighteners break with within like a year. And this is the first time I've ever had one that I actually really like and think works really well. And it's, my, it's a Remington. It's a red and black Remington. Now I'm really like... I'm really like eh about getting one that's like not red and black, but it's probably the exact same thing. Um, I think it is the exact same thing. It goes to the same amount of heat, which is like what really matters. It says um, 15 second heat up, um, 60 minute auto shut off, which I really like. Bag of goodies. I'm gonna go through everything that's not makeup first. And the first thing is I got a soap dish from the travel size department because when we travel, he, I, I love to collect the hotel stuff, like, I'm so weird. Um, but he likes to use the hotel soap, and I'm always like, no, you can use my shower gel. So I bought him a little soap dish so he can bring his own soap from home and doesn't need to steal my hotel soap. Because I'm picky. And then I also, when, you'll see in my influencer video that I posted, which I think I'm posting before this one, I got like a Pantene sample thing, and I really, really, really liked them. So, and I'm definitely going to keep using them for travel, because they're actually travel size, so they're really, really, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decent size to get for free, but I really liked it. I felt like it's really been making my hair so much shinier, and I noticed that I haven't had a shiny hair, a shiny of hair since I was using it. Like, I used it on our trip to Chicago, and I loved it, and then I used it at his parents' house when they were in California. I took a lot of, we took showers there, we stayed there a lot, so I was using it in the shower there, and I just loved it so much, and I was like, oh my god, I need to get this stuff for real. So I picked up, and I want to see if it does the same thing, the Pantene Expert Pro Intense Color Care. So I want to see if it does the exact same thing with the color care. If not, I'm going to get the Intensely um, Moisture one that I got as a sample. But these were each $4.88, I believe, so it wasn't too bad. Um, it's 9.4 fluid ounces. This is 8 fluid ounces, so I'm hoping that it goes well. I want to smell it. Yeah, it still smells really good, and it's kind of shimmery, too, which I kind of like. That's how the um, other stuff was, but I'm excited to try this. But I definitely recommend the new, like, Pantene line. And then I also needed, because you guys know we're going to California for two months next year, so I needed new um, sunscreen, and this is the Neutrogena Sports Sport Face Oil-Free Lotion SPF 70. I had this stuff last year, but when I got it last year, I got it on clearance, so last year it was only good for a year because the expiration date it was only like it was January 2016 so I was like eh me and my skin we're not gonna burn this year so I just went ahead and bought a new one and it doesn't expire until 2018 till January 2018 so it'll be good for the whole time in California and it'll be good for our Gettysburg DC trip in like two weeks so this is what that looks like and I love the stuff for going under um makeup it's not greasy it doesn't have like a high smell and it just I absolutely love it and it's just it's just meant for your face um won't clog pores water resistant after 80 minutes I love it I love it I love it I love it and then it came with a sample of the daily moisture with sunscreen so I'm assuming this is like for the rest of your body um but it's kind of cool to sample but yeah so I got that very excited and I just needed a new hairbrush and I liked this hairbrush look how cute this is I usually get the hairbrushes from the dollar store um but they just my hair is just so thick it literally like breaks right off so I went and just got a a good one so it was like four or five bucks crazy but I needed it and then I needed another one of these summer's eve cleansing washes for you know your fun parts 
just need a new cleansing wash. Um, I used to be notorious at getting um, UTIs so, so bad. And they say that taking birth control is uh, a side effect of it can be UTIs. And I don't drink as much water as I should. I unfortunately am a soda person and like a tea person. And um, yeah, so I don't like go to the bathroom as much as I should. I tend to like hold it all night and I just tend to work like through it at work and everything. So I tend to get UTIs so, so much and just it's awful and just awful things. But ever since I've been using this, it's actually been what I like how my camera is like you have four minutes left okay guys I have to go get the cord for this BRB I'm so excited I found this so you guys remember you guys remember when I went to um, Target and found the Acuri like face Acure Acuri Acure I don't know it's like a face scrub that like Ipsy gave us a while ago and it was like a little thing it was like green and scrubby it was real good um eh. I found it at Target for 10 bucks and I'm so excited and it's like amazing. It totally scrubs everything. It gets all the dead skin off. It's, oh my god, it makes your skin feel amazing. And I cannot believe I found it. And I'm so excited. So I got the big bottle of it. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, oh, no, it's shut. You're not going to see it. Um, But it's literally like my favorite, favorite, favorite face scrub. And it was just, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Sorry, the sun's being real weird. It's literally like right there. So I'm like trying to avoid it and then the last thing that isn't makeup that I picked up I always pick up the double packs of deodorant because I always have to carry one in my purse if a I open in the morning and I forget to put deodorant on before I leave which happens it does happen I know it's gross but it does happen I'll forget to put it on when I leave in the morning I'll literally get to work and be like I forgot deodorant so I will put it on because I have one in my purse so that's why I always buy the double pack so that I always have two because I don't want to be like mm. Oh no, so gotta have two. So that is all of the stuff that isn't makeup. Now we're gonna get on to everything that is makeup. It's not too much stuff, but I figured I would show it and I'm gonna try to swatch as much as I can. Um, the first thing that I found is super stinking awesome. It's the NYX Wonder Stick and I don't know why it was on clearance. I don't know if it's because this color is clearance or if it's because it's like going bad or what the heck. I don't, I don't know if they got like a weird batch or something or if they're like redoing it or whatever, but this was on clearance from $11.99 to $5.98 and then it went on clearance again to $3.58. So a $12 product for $3.58. That is stinking awesome. Awesome. And it's in the color light medium, not even like a dark color. And it was the only one there. And I don't know if they made a mistake because it didn't ring up like that. And then he looked at it and I was like, hey man, it was the last one. And he's like, okay. So he like gave it to me obviously because it, it's what it said. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to like swatch it or anything, but because I don't know if I'm going to give this away or not. Um, but just the highlighting and contouring. It's very cool. I remember paying... 12 bucks for it and hating it like hating paying 12 bucks for it so I would definitely go to your target and check it out and see if they have these on clearance because yes honey and then I got a the Maybelline Better Skin Correcting Concealer and I'm really excited I heard a lot about this I heard people say that it's like the naked concealer so I wanted to give it a shot um I got the color ivory which when I first swatched it it looked a little too orange for me now I think it looks okay I don't know it's, it seems okay it doesn't seem like huge full coverage but it definitely seems like it would be nice just to conceal it a little bit um yeah okay that's pretty cool yo pretty pretty cool um and then another thing that I got is the master precise curvy uh, liquid liner with Maybelline and just one that you shake up looks like this ha, ha, ha. and oh I forgot I didn't call it like that it just looks like this it's so weird I don't see how it's like curvy or anything but whatever um so you can like draw a fine line you can make it thicker or you can make it really thick so you have like three different options on really how you can do it um the only thing I don't like about this that I actually have a complaint about for other Maybelline liquid liners is that it tends to um, 
run. It tends to run, it tends to not be waterproof. So I don't know if I should get the waterproof version or what, but this, I don't know, we'll have to try it. We'll have to try it. You guys will see it if it was like a buy or like a buy or regret or whatever. Um, and then I got two blushes. The first one was a Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Brush in, in a Purple Haze. I don't usually go for Wet n Wild, but I did remember hearing about these ombre blushes and really wanting to try them. So it's like a pink purple ombre, and they're so soft. Like, I just love these. I remember having Wet n Wild blushes when I was little, like when I was much younger. It's so pretty. This is such an awkward side to show it on. Oh my god, okay. So it's very different. Oh my god, I like really can't show it. But it's very purple and very pretty, and I'm just kind of like a fan. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I definitely think it's going to be like a fan favorite. Oh, hey, it's not rubbing off this time. Hey, it's actually doing quite well. And then this one is a number seven coral flush. I definitely think these are a little bit more powdery and not as velvety and nice. Yeah, definitely not as velvety and nice. So it looks like this. Yeah, nope, definitely streaky. Yeah, I'm really kind of disappointed in this, but it was a clearance when I took the sticker off. It was $5.98, so instead of like $13 or $14 or however much this is, I don't know. I'm not a fan of it, but we'll have to see how it applies to the face with the brush. I don't know. I really like this Wet n Wild one better, but we'll have to see. People are like in love with this stuff, and I'm like, I don't know how you like it. And then I have three other face pro... well... Yeah, I guess you can call it a face product. I have three other face products before I move on to lips and nail polish. The, the first one that I found is the Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. Oh my god. You guys know I'm a big color tattoo fan. And I, when, we, when the pots first came out, I had 13 different pots. And then when the sticks came out, I got four different colors of the sticks. And now they have these chrome things. I'm dying, 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 dying. But I literally stopped myself. I was like, Jessica, buy just one because you'll never finish it. And this was the one color I thought I'd use the most. And it's just such a pretty beigey, but more of like a copper color. And it's in Gilded Rose, which makes sense why it's like a copper mixed with other things and it looks sort of chunky but so does the regular color tattoos it's so pretty it looks like just like a really cute highlight so it's right there and it just looks like a really pretty rosy highlight shade color and I feel like it's gonna be really cute on the eyes like you, you can see it really very iridescent and shiny so I'm actually super psyched about this so yeah and then I also picked up the Maybelline Master Contour um, V-Shape Duo Stick. I'm really excited to see how this applies. And I got the color in Light Fair. And it has like the contour and the light side. So the light, the contour, and then both. So that's the light, that's the contour, that's both when you actually swipe it together. So I don't know if you're supposed to swipe it like this and like that or just together, but we're definitely going to have to see how this um, ends up like actually wearing because I feel like this is too orange for my skin, but when you blend it in, I don't know, see, I just feel like it's a little bit too orange for me because I am so light, uh, but when you blend both of them in together, it might not be as bad. And this is the Maybelline Strobing Stick illuminating highlighter kind of like their blushes that they have that are in the stick form this is a highlighter and I would not have bought this if I opened my ipsy bag first which I didn't so this definitely matches the Tristique stuff yeah it's basically like totally totally similar to this to the Tristique stuff so very very pretty very velvety it's so smooth to work with so easy 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 to blend oh my gosh I just love it I just love it. So that's that one. And then I have three, I have six lip colors and I wanted to do like a lip try on thing, which I mean, I still might, but I don't know. You'll and they're just, oh, I love the classic packaging. And this one is in Daring Nude. I don't know where I'm swatching this here. I just, I really don't know where I'm swatching this. So this one is in Daring Nude. Ooh, 
That is not very nude. That is very, um, rosy. Very, very rosy. Um, but I like it. I like it. This one is in Blushing Pout. I'm very excited. This one I absolutely adore. This is much more like my style than like the burnt color. I'm not all for the burnt color, but I feel like it'll match. Um, I feel like it's going to match that lip liner that I talked about in my Ipsy and Beauty Box 5 video. And then I got three from the Katie Cat collection because of course why not? It's Katy Perry. And this is in Cosmo Kitty. I love the packaging. I just feel like this one's going to be so fun. So, so fun. And it doesn't feel like insanely unwearable. So this is after like a few swatches of it. If you wanted to swatch it just like once, it's a little bit more of like a lilac wearable color than like a super, super violet. But I feel like it definitely could be a wearable color depending on like your outfit and everything too. And this is in Sphinx. <gasps> so excited. I love Sphinx. So, oh my god, it's the exact same color as the nude one. So, this color here and this color here are basically the same exact color. Let me pull these out and totally swatch both of these for you guys. Like, show you guys these two colors side by side. I think that's crazy. Um... Basically about that, uh, yeah, they're basically the same color. Okay, cool. So I totally didn't need to buy both of those, but I guess I did. They're the exact same color. Eventually, in Declutter, I'll probably end up getting rid of them. Um, I might actually, <laughs> it's the exact same color. This is so crazy. I might actually end up giving away the matte one then to a friend or something because I don't need two of the same color. This one is Magenta Minx. Um, where am I going to swatch this one? Hey, I'll swatch it up top. So this one is a crazy, crazy, crazy magenta color. And then I'll do one swipe of it. It's a little bit more wearable, but this is so insane of a color. I just, oh my god, it's so, so insane. I just can't believe I bought two of the same color. Like, this just blown my mind. But no, I really, really like this magenta color. And then I had to jump on the bandwagon and grab a Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint. So excited for this. So excited to wear this. And you know me and my Maybelline girl. We like together. So. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You know why I'm going to die? Because this is the Color Jolt color. It looks just like this. I just love how I decided I needed all of the same color. So, <laughs> but no, it's definitely very, very pretty. It's, it smells really good too. I don't know, but a lot of these colors just seemed very unwearable to me. There was like a bright purple, a super bright red and orange uh, skin color nude. This is the only one I could actually see myself wearing. I wanted to just pick up the whole collection to have the whole collection, but just to be smart, I decided to go with the color that I'd most likely wear. And as you guys can tell and see, I have special colors that I like. I just can't believe those two are the same. Um, only, you know what? Actually, you know what? This one's matte, and this one's the kitty cat one. So this one's a little bit more, um, like, sticky, as this one is a little bit more matte. So I don't know if I'll keep both. I'll have to try them both on and see which one I like better. That's that, and I'm all swatched up. Um, I got a 20-minute long video. Ah, Jessica. Um, so now on to nails. I got one of the Wet n Wild gel nail polishes, because I don't have any of the Wet n Wild ones yet. I don't think so. No, I don't. And this is an It's Your Birthday. Like, it's her birthday, but it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. So I got one of the Wet n Wild ones, and then I decided to pick up the Miracle Gel Top Coat from Sally Hansen, um, because I don't really have a good gel top coat. I have the Sinful Colors one, and I'm not at all loving how that one's working at all. I do not like it. So I'm hoping I'm going to like this a lot better. And then I got um, the Kylie Jenner 
our Kendall Jenner. This is Kylie. This is Kylie. The Kylie Matte Sinful Colors line is all on clearance at Target. I don't know if it's like going out or whatever, but it's every single color is on clearance. So I'm assuming it's like going out. Um, and they were all on sale for $1.48, but they rang up $1.28. So it was $20 cheaper than what was actually on the thing. So I got three of them. The first one I got is in Miss Claus. And I love this berry, berry, cranberry color. I think it's gorgeous. And then this one, oh my god, I'm obsessed. And it is in Cosmos. I'm honestly thinking this is what I want on my toes for vacation. Because I'm so, like so obsessed with this color. You can't, it's not even doing it justice on the camera. It is such a royal blue color. It's crazy royal blue. And this one is like a pistachio color and it's in cool as a cucumber. So it makes sense. That would be like a cucumber one. It's very sheer and green. It looks more on um, yellowish green on camera, but in real life, it's just really like a pale, pale cucumber green. And then I grabbed two Sally Hansen gel colors. Shake them up. This one is in Bite Blue, and I just fell in love with this ocean color. It reminded me of Pacific Blue, or Pacific, yeah, Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen, like their original line. Um, so it like definitely reminded me of that color, and I loved it. And this one's very similar, and it kind of reminds me of Bikini Sotini. Yeah, definitely Bikini Sotini, and it's in Sugar Fix. So I'm just very excited about both of these. I don't know what color I want on my toes for vacation, but yeah. And then I got one Essie from their Jug Tour, and it is just one of the weird, like weirdly shaped bottles. And this one is called Signature Smile. So they had a lots of different ones, but I tried to pick a pink that I like didn't already have, because um, my nail polish collection is growing quite some again, and I'm not. I really didn't want it to grow this much, um, but I thought that was like a super cute bottle, so yeah. And that was my Target haul. Uh, I'm sorry it was so long, hope you guys stuck through it, and I'm very excited to play with all these things. And I will talk to you guys later, bye!